The lights could be seen all across San Diego, even from Federico Buren's home in Rosarito, Mexico. It caught my attention and I started, you know, I decided to start recording this to analyze it later. Federico says he thought it had to do with the military. I'm very realistic. I, I, I don't believe in those uh, conspiratory theories or anything like that. You know, I just, I just want an explanation uh, to find out what's going on. While others say the flashing lights that stayed in the sky for roughly 20 minutes can't be explained. Realistically, if they were flares, you would see them flickering. These were not flickering. They were not moving, and it, there was a light breeze. So if that was a flare, they would be moving. The San Diego Fire Department told ABC 10 News that the flares could be seen five miles offshore. They believe the orange glow was flares. The Coast Guard told ABC 10 News they believe the Navy was conducting flare training with expired flares. A Coast Guard spokesperson said the reason the flares stayed in the sky is so that distress signals can be seen. However, ABC 10 News is still awaiting confirmation from the Navy to make sure this phenomenon was just an earthly coincidence. I felt, you know, awesome that we got to be able to see it, whatever it was. <laughs> Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Hey, what's good, guys? It's your friend Malachi here. So today we'll cover uh, what are these lights in San Diego and, you know, popping up all over the world, these floating lights. Are they, are they UFOs? Is it Project Blue Beam? <laughs> Is it just holograms? I can tell you this. I've seen over 200 dreams come true. All glory to God. He will reveal revelation, insight, the truth to his friends, to his people. He pours out all his spirit on all flesh in these last days. We're all seeing a lot of the same things. That's why you need Jesus Christ. to. We need him to cleanse us of our sins. But he also will show you the truth and remove the scales from your eyes and ears so that you know the truth. He'll give you his Holy Spirit to live inside of you, the Holy Spirit of truth. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And you'll receive the Holy Ghost and, and it's for the forgiveness of sins. He'll forgive you, if, for, you know, no matter what you've done. So anyways... These lights are from the fallen angels. They have these technologies for many, many, many years, thousands of years. They have UFO technology. They're going to come in and say that there are brethren, are uh, the ascended masters. It's like Prometheus. They'll say that they uh, planted us, seeded us here on the earth. It couldn't be further from the truth. It's pure propaganda and lies. Look at how many governments are talking about UFOs and aliens. And I think uh, the Vatican even... Uh, assign somebody a position to contact aliens. You know, they're all on one accord. It's all, it's all a plan to deceive mankind to take over. The devil is, is the biggest liar. He's a de master deceiver. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. So there's going to be a ton of UFOs in the skies one day. And all the cities, just like kind of like Independence Day, that predicted programming through Hollywood and many movies, they're not your friends. They're not your friends. Make sure you come to Jesus Christ. He'll show you the truth. These are fallen angels that can shapeshift. They're not on your team. They're not here to help you. They're not here to save mankind. Qu quite the contrary. So don't be fooled by all this news coming out. They're going to do miracles, signs, and wonders. They're going to have amazing technologies. Get right with God. He'll show you the truth. I love you. God bless you.